I was really thrilled, um, Reg, when you and David approached me about doing this piece and then, you know, even more thrilled uh, when I knew that Misha would be able to do it with us. And um, you're going to hear me bragging about Misha quite a bit tonight, which will be uncomfortable for him and great for me. <laughs> um, but uh, a lot of those early conversations were talking with Misha and also um, Interestingly enough, our, our sound designer on also the original production, and they are also friends, um, Stowe, Nelson, uh, both of whom really helped us get set up for this process of uh, sending mics and equipment to actors' homes and getting each of those spaces set up to be able to um, create miniature studios, which of course Misha will be able to speak to better. Um, and then I think there's this incredible benefit to having directed a different different production, but a three-dimensional production before a live audience because I had a sense of the physical space, like the physical spaces of each world and where audiences tended to react mm -hmm. and the beats and the pacing of how things, uh, how this works um, in a physical realm. And so to to have that fleshed out in my mind's eye and then approach an audio production was very helpful. Uh, and then Misha to, again, his endless credit and these incredible actors um, were able to inhabit those spaces through their own imaginations and create that vividness for us, although now it's it's through our ears. Uh, so that's, that's how we approached it with a lot of specificity and imagination on our part that uh, I believe does and will translate through uh, through headphones to those who are listening.